Welcome to the Goza Podcast, where we talk about all things rock and roll. We're going to be continuing our series on reviewing the greatest moments in rock and roll history. That's right. Today, we have the legendary Led Ooh. Zeppelin oh. live, Madison Square Garden, 1973, their performance of Over the Hills and Far Away, one of my favorite favorite Led Zeppelin songs of all time. Wow. We could have done Stairway, but everyone's heard Stairway a million times. So let's take a look at this, shall we? Yeah. Take a second to subscribe to the channel. Comment what you would like us to react to next. Try and keep it rock and roll. And go check out our original tunes on our on our channel. We're here preserving rock and roll. Preserving rock and roll. We are musicians. We're not historians, so if I get a, a fact wrong, let me know in the comments. But be nice. Here we go. Legendary rock stars. Les Paul sounds great. drums. Bass sounds so good. Rhythm section is really holding it down. Thank you. 
Probably one of the most valuable guitars in all history. <laughs> right. Yes. You know, going over these videos, these live videos, you really understand how perfectly imperfect mm. rock and roll has to be. You right. know, that's so missing in today's music. Right. With all this auto tune and backing tracks and people hiding behind, you know, they're masking themselves, hiding behind perfection. Yeah, exactly. And, I mean, you listen to his guitar playing, Jimmy Page, and, you know, there's notes where he's, boom, like almost a beat behind, mm -hmm. you know. And without that, you know, impeccable rhythm section, it would have all fell apart. Totally. But, you know, John Bonham, obviously legendary on drums. So, and then John Paul, ba John Paul Jones on bass made this huge, fat, rhythm section yeah. that allowed Jimmy Page to weave between the rhythm and allowed him to be a little bit yeah. intoxicated, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, Robert Plant, amazing performance. His vocals Always. were super on point. Right. And Jimmy Page, he's so... He's such a unicorn. Yeah. Because, like, you know, if he came out today, right... And he tried to put those videos up on Instagram. Mm. People would tear him apart. Oh, 100%. As he's sloppy and all this and right, sloppy right, this right. and sloppy that. But you have to understand what Jimmy Page really excelled at was being an artist, being a, a creative channel, you know, channeling music right. through himself. Mm -hmm. And that's why he's all into the dark arts and all that stuff. Because mm -hmm. he was into channeling and, and he took it to his guitar and so it's like, okay, you might be able to technically, technically play better than Jimmy Page. Oh. But you'll never be able to write Stairway to Heaven. Right. You'll never be able to write a song like them. Yeah. You'll never be able to write a riff that so many people connect with. Totally. That's magic, mm -hmm. you know? And so watching this performance, it's like, you know... There were so many wrong notes and like behind the beat mm -hmm. where, but never once was a cringe. Oh, no. It was you know? Beautiful. That was the crazy part. Like, Perfect. I was like, okay, he's not playing, he's not, you know, playing that solo note for note. He's coming late on that one chord, mm -hmm. but never was a cringe because mm -hmm. he's just in the music. He's, you know, serving the music. Right, right. And, Obviously, another example of a band that's about those four people 
creating that chemistry together. Mm-hmm. They couldn't replace the drummer after he passed away. Right. They just weren't even even interested in considering the idea of playing with somebody else. Exactly. Because they knew that it was those four people mm -hmm. that made that particular magic. Yeah. It's basically one plus one plus one plus one doesn't equal four. It equals infinity, you know? Yeah. yeah. So we'll definitely be looking at more Led Zeppelin because... They are the essence of rock star, rock and roll. -ness. Right. And so cool. <laughs> they just have so much coolness to them, you know. Yeah, I love, you know, you mentioned the artisticness of of um, the guitar player. And I feel like him along with the singer really adds that like soft feminine, you know, aspect. And then the bass and the drums bring it into that rock and roll. And they're able to just create such depth right together. yeah yeah because the intro to the song is like okay what's kind of going on here like right it's like an acoustic folk song and then it's just like okay like where's this going mm -hmm. and all of a sudden batum, batum, doo -doo 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 -doo, you yeah. know and it's just like so good exploded. at that mm -hmm. totally exploded so yeah i mean this showed me how important i mean i always knew that the rhythm section was important to led zeppelin but it really exemplified how important right. the bass and the drums were mm -hmm. to Led Zeppelin. Right. They ke they kept it down. They held it down, and the other two could go where they wanted to go. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They could harness that feminine mm -hmm. energy, that mm -hmm. that Mother Earth energy, mm -hmm. as you know, as the rhythm section brought that masculine stability. Mm -hmm. It's a marriage. Totally. It's a perfect marriage. Totally. They were masters at that. And that Les Paul. It's probably one of the, if not the most expensive guitar in all of history. Right. It's not for sale. He still owns it. He still owns yeah, it. Yeah, he's proud of it. But those guitars <laughs> go for about half a million dollars. Already. Already, without yeah. a rock star touching it. Right. Now, that particular one, you can only imagine, I mean, some rich billionaire. If I was a billionaire, I'd pay $10 million for it easy. What's that to you? Yeah, it's probably worth more. And not only that, but at that price, it's uh, you know, it's a piece of art. It's an asset. The right? only thing that I could think of that might possibly be, and probably is worth more, is maybe McCartney's bass. It's not. It's not. I Come can guarantee. On. I can guarantee Come it's on. not. Come on. All right, let's start a vote. Do you think that Jimmy Page's Les Paul is worth more than Maka's? Original Hoffner bass. Or vice versa. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. You know my vote. Les Paul all the way. <laughs> Team Les Paul. <laughs> That's right, people. <laughs> if you're a guitar player, you need one of these in your life. Okay? If you're married to a guitar player, let the man get the Les Paul. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video.